When a fish stinks, it starts up at the head. We will never win another flag until we get back to being a football club, directed and operated by people who truly understand the fabric of a successful football club, who connect with the fans and supporters in a way that we can all see, hear, touch and feel. This board, administration, has turned us into the Carlton Business Club. They tell us that they have all the business acumen to make the right decisions and put our club on the path to sustained success. But in reality, they have absolutely no idea who to appoint to the key coaching, recruiting and list management positions within the club, let alone key administrative positions. They have failed time and time again, and quite frankly, their time is well and truly up. For all of their so-called skill sets, this club's board is a basket case, as far as I'm concerned. A flag is many, many, many years away, maybe even decades, unless we have a change of direction from a wholesale change of directors. This year now looks like a lost cause as far as making finals is concerned and we'll be lucky to make the finals next year or at any stage in the next five years unless things change. I'm sorry to have to say all of this everyone but you cannot deny the reality any longer. We have such a heavy and unhealthy reliance on Walsh, Cripps, Wietering, Mackay and Doherty that it's clear we don't have much depth on our list. Most of our players would struggle to get a game with any of the top eight teams outside of those five guys I just mentioned. Unfortunately, our team and our coaches have proven time and time again this season that they are just not up to beating top eight teams on the ladder. So how can we possibly expect to make the top eight? We can only afford two, maybe three losses now between the end of the season and now with games still to come versus West Coast, GWS twice, Geelong and Port Adelaide. We also have games against teams like Fremantle, probably in Perth, St Kilda, Adelaide, Gold Coast and of course Collingwood, all of whom could topple us if we're not playing our best. The game against North Melbourne is one we'd expect to win, wouldn't we? Surely! So it's probably safe to say that we are now playing for pride for the rest of the season. Go book your September holidays because we won't be playing finals if we continue to play the way we have till now. Not a chance in hell. That's now eight years in a row since we played finals. Anyone who isn't angry with this and doesn't insist on change is someone who is happy with abject failure and the stench of mediocrity that has been hanging around our club for 20 years. This board has had seven years. The seven year rebuild is a failure. They should all bloody resign. Signed, Vince Lochisano. Not much more to say. That's a hot start. That's a hot start, what man. Way to Seriously, we, we should just end the show there, man. What a way that's to start the it. show. Let's, uh, that's it. He's uh, very Vince. Moving. And it's honest, man. Like uh, that, that's what it's about, and that's that, that that's what we've uh, we've come to at this moment, man. Like seriously, that's his opinion, and that's his opinion. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Shall we get people upbeat with our intro and song? Or? <laughs> let's do it. Let's, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, welcome to the Jumper Punch. Uh, this is the Blue Abroad Jumper Punch. Uh, I'm joined by, my name's Rocco, I'm joined by Marcello, and also Hello. by Paul. Hello. How you going? Good. Did we play footy on the weekend? Or All I, all I could hear was, Cucaracha and Senor Toba, <laughs> stride for stride in the Queensland Derby. <laughs> the Wizard of Odds has tipped Cucaracha at 15 to 1, and Cucaracha noses out the stable, mate, Senor Toba. James McDonald gets another group one. <laughs> yeah, 
Isn't like, that what happened on the weekend? Yeah, that's what happened. You tipped the fifteen dollar group one winner. I, I saw that. You sent us a picture of that. You definitely you were yeah, a we winner. Put that picture up. Put that you're picture a winner up. up. We'll put the picture up. That's the only winner. You gotta watch the you gotta watch the Bet the Lux videos, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, oh, yes. I watch enough shit in the week. Yeah. If you, yeah. yeah. So that's anyway, uh, this is a uh, this is a big this is a big one tonight. This is a big one tonight because I think it's it's hit a lot of hard strings. It's it's uh this it has Rocco, it has. Yeah, this one's uh, has. this yeah. one's a huge one. So let's get here. let's get stuck into it. Unlike Carlton, we front up and we give a hundred percent at every contest. As these, well, and as well, these, and while we're here, we're gonna order some coffee. As well. we gotta and, get them straight uh, we're gonna in. order some coffee. Uh let me order the coffee. And the thing is that I put the Phone. The phone over there. Yeah, we need to hear. There it is. Melbourne oh. Coffee Roasting Co. Carl Get on them. Brandon, maybe you like what? Well, he's the man. From the Melbourne, yeah. And as I stated last week, man, this is not any like uh, bullshit kind of. Mate, this is 12 years of experience. There it is. 12 years of experience. And he did, again, won silver and bronze at the Sydney Fine Food Festival. And we are mate, well, not we everyone are, does we that. We How many well. people do you know that have won silver and bronze? No, That's body. Exactly right. We've got a coffee right here. He's a big blue bag. He's a, a, so a big blue bag. So yeah, everyone go to Melbourne Coffee Roasting Co. dot com. Put in the promo code. Carlton to fifteen. And how much do you get off? Fifteen percent. Hey, how much do we lose by? Twenty two. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the one was twenty two. Yeah, yeah, it was close to. So let's make this. Uh, 1995. I've got a feeling you'll be doing that quite often, the way we yeah, go. We're going to be doing that for years. For years hello, hello. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, we're still doing it. Yeah, we have to do the show no matter what happens. So, yeah, yeah, all right. Can you bring the, the three coffees? Yes, three coffees and a few of those. Hey, what biscuits do you want? Savoyard. Savoyard. Right, right, Savoyard. Savoyard. The one. All right, thank you very much. Savoyard. All right, so they'll be coming. They'll be coming and we can, uh, we can, we can start... We can start this. Oh, oh look at this! Yeah. And the beautiful assistant. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you very much. Look at it. Hey. We know what it's time for. Come on, mate. Get it out. This Strong shit. Flop, flop it out. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, you got we're no left. Oh, yes. No, we're running out. And uh, um, we have to go and catch another panther because <laughs> we're running out of the panther piece. You know? well, so maybe we can if anyone's caught a panther in a cage, <laughs> please send it our way. Thank you. Please. Oh, yes, Extra well, there might be in uh, Andrew Russell's cage, so... Uh, oh, oh, yes, the oh, cage, Andrew Russell's the cage. cage. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Oh, God. Oh, this is, this is crushed. No, nah, seriously, that got, this got me through the game, man. This got me through the He's game. He's swigging it from uh, the bottle, Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'll see no, you from the bottle. Give me the tip, gentlemen. Good God. Cheers. Oh, oh, another loss. <laughs> oh, that's... Mate, it is strong. Mm. It's strong. He needs, man. He needs, he needs some strong shit to get through this far. Tell you what, the amount of alcohol that over the weekend as well. We'll talk about that because you were there. Yes, yeah, it was. While we're here, yes. While we're here, let's before we get into the the uh, the main agenda of the night, yes. and it is that, a big agenda. It is a big agenda, man. I'm telling you, this is going to be huge, people. But um, let's go. We're number eight again. Yes. I'm telling you. No, yes. one, no one thought we'd get to number eight. Yes. Just quietly, mate. We're a uh, number eight and pumping. And number eight is a number that's really not that quite famous, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Yes, but I'll tell you but what, a few players uh, made it famous. Mate, there is some, no, some, there some genuine, very, some genuine yes, footballers yeah, in. Well, and, and of all of them, my favourite. My absolute favourite is Matthew Cruiser. Well, Matthew Cruiser, I mean, definitely. So we'll, we'll talk about Matthew Cruiser because I've got him last because he's the man that everyone kind of remembers. Yes. But just to start off with, like, uh, I'm going to give special mention, and I'm telling you, our viewers last week, They're on did it. I get you a copped it. You copped it. All oh, right, it. of course the Dominator's one of the best, but I thought I'd go a different way. But like the Dominator was the best number seven. I love the bloke, you know. But this week, Wayne Blackwell and and Trevor Keogh, yep, part of the uh, part of the Mosquito Fleet, man, very very good. But I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you one. A one gamer. Okay, you love your one gamers. Them, man. They're all players. One would you, game more would than you us. Love to play a game. Yeah, absolutely. One game. One game. All right, I'm going to give you a name. Spalding. Oh, Earl. No, 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 Scott Spaulding. Scott Spaulding. Scott Spaulding. Wow. All right. Is that Scott his brother? Sp that was his brother. Ah. Oh, really? Scott Spaulding, wow. in 1993, played one game for Carlton. Incredible. Yes, yes. And he kicked... One gone. One point. Hey! <laughs> Good on him. And he retired after one game, 
and he went over back to uh, yeah, the man. WAFL. Yes, yeah, lovely. And he ended up playing a fairly good career of about 150 games. But Earl went up there in 98 and they played together for a flag with the Sharks. There you go. So did, did he Earl... come across with his brother? No. No, no bizarre. Because no. Earl played in, yeah. uh, well, he was yeah. in the 95 uh, grand final. Yeah. And yeah. then before that, he was at Melbourne. And he killed Guy McKenna. Yeah. Oh, Almost oh, killed him. Oh, yeah. That's sick. That was sick. What a hit that was. And so uh, the other one I'm going to mention is. Yes. My man, Big Red. <laughs> I like myself to him, Lance Whitnell. Not for like playing with Carmen, just. But I do yeah, remember one day rich. when I was a kid and we were at Princess Park. Yep. He marked the ball in the goal square and he absolutely sprayed it. <laughs> 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 absolutely <laughs> sprayed it. I don't know which game it is, like, but I remember watching that and I was just as a kid, I'm like, and that's um, where we go. We have it, but can we get. I want the highlight of him kicking that goal in the prelim. Pre- oh, oh, talk about that. Yes, I've got yes. that. Oh, dear. I've got yes. that. Yes. And everyone, what we're talking what about. What a goal. goal. Well, have a look at it. He takes the mark. What a goal. Great. Look at him. He's looking around. He's looking around. He's trying to He might have no goal. choice. He starts it right. It swings back. What a goal. Yes, mate. <laughs> oh, you want to be on the blues now? It was silly, mate. That's, that's <laughs> no, no, exactly. Jim Orford. Jim Orford. Yes. 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 God bless his soul. Yes. yes. Mate, I'm telling you. Hey, he had a goal. Goal. good career, you know. No, no. He nearly went out two well, goals a game, 216 <laughs> games, what, 348 goals? Well, fucking spot on. And that's now, exactly right. I have a story not... about Lance Whitmore. Yeah, right? yeah. Now, I wasn't there when this happened, right, but this comes from a very close friend of mine, James in Albury. Hello, how are you? He was at a Carlton game many years ago, and Lance wasn't playing, but he was still at the club. He was still a player. He must have been injured or something. Yeah. I think the game may be at the MCG, and you know, the half time sort of huddles they come out, the players who are playing, you know, they sort of get around it and stuff. And Lance was carrying a big cardboard box. <laughs> Someone in the crowd has screamed out, Oi, Lance, is that your lunchbox? <laughs> <laughs> and Lance just turned around, and you can only laugh. I mean, you, you're done. You, you, what's the response? There's yeah. no response. So. Well, he <laughs> always had that problem with the weight and the, and hey, the fat farm. Doesn't that. matter. He was a footballer, mate. He kicked goals. He was a good footballer. Mate, I loved he said him. He played I loved that. him. Mate, he was uh, 97. He played for 10 years. Uh, another thing, his, his dad, Graham, played six, six games for Carlton. Really? Yes, Graham. Okay, there's a history. Graham Whitnell played wow. 66 games for Fing. Um, he was an All Australian in 2000, being there for 06, and Stop leading that. goal kicker in 98, 99, 2000. And he was captain too, remember? Yeah, in, yeah. in one of the, I think it's the second last year or something before. Actually, it was his last year, and then he only ended up playing like half a dozen games he or whatever. Could, he could play, mate. He was a footballer. No, no, I yeah, love him. Red, and when, when him and. Um, what was the other bloke that uh, that went to St Kilda? Um, oh, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Hamill. Aaron when they were playing again, I'm telling you, that was a bloody good combination. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, and, uh, one, so the one, other one, for, one for Petra Khan, who I'm sure will be on the uh, on the uh, on the live chat. Oh, it's all those players. Yeah. Ross Ditchburn was yes. number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, There's one for mate. Petra. We're on to it, man. Yeah. You're making us well, work hard. Right. Yeah, looking, looking, so looking for players. I think it's Abdul Papadabadubalopolopolis. Yeah. So I think they should he or she yeah. put something up there. But yeah, Ross Ditchburn. Well, what about one more? And you mentioned him, oh, mate. Matthew Cruiser. We're gonna track him. The man right. himself. What a what a, what a champion. Just Matthew Cruiser. Now he played yeah. uh, injury destroyed. One, really. Was it one ninety or something? Like Will he play from our way to to um, twenty? Yep. He played 189 games, 94 goals, 207. Uh, he was uh, drafted number one with Judd. He was played in the Cruiser, well, we played for the Cruiser, Cruiser Cup, Cup yeah, the year yeah, before. And he was a rising yeah. star nomination. Look, he hasn't got many trophies on his thing, you know, he didn't finish up. But he's a club champion. Mate, the injuries, the poor boy. But he was a good footballer as well. Very good. And you can see some of the highlights oh, as, we're, as we're talking. You can see, mate, like just... the blood. Mate, they called him the tractor. Yeah. Right. And they called well, him Humphrey right. because of Humphrey. Humphrey. Yeah, yeah, insane. Nah, nah, we, uh, loved him. And it was a spew, you know, because I'm telling you, when he was up and running, I'm going to state this, Big he was Barometer. one of the best Ruckman going around. Yeah. For, for, yeah, what was it? A couple of years, he was loved him. probably top two. Loved him. So, one, of, one of my favourite players. Yeah. One of my, I've never, and now he's never there. ever ever had a bad word to no, say about him never. ever. And you, and, ever. You, and you saw a couple of those goals, and the one I remember oh. when he's kicked the ball. Snap. Yeah. yeah. What a goal. 
Do it. Yeah. What was the commentary? Do it, young man, or, or kick a goal, young yeah, man. Yeah, what was it? Sandy Roberts. Sandy Roberts. So Sandy, another great commentator. So that's it. So there for the number eight. Next week we'll do the number nine but we're here now. Good start. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good start. So a bit of joy. And now okay. we're going to do the fair review, right? So here we go. Here we go. We're going to talk about therapy now. We, on we did the, couch. the therapy on the couch. Uh, we played Sydney. Now I was going to give the scores and the and the goals, but I'm not. Okay. okay. Uh, because does it really matter, guys? Not really. No. The score doesn't matter. It doesn't. Right? The goals we don't lost. matter. It, we lost, and we lost <coughs> pretty badly. Pardon me. We lost pretty badly, man. So would you say it was worse than the Bulldogs? Game? Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I thought it was probably. Uh, uh, and and Tech said it too. It was probably our most disappointing yeah. second half or yeah. uh, last half to a game all year. Yeah. And it was. Yeah. It was. It was. <clears throat> and I'm telling you, I, I, again, like the week before, I was disappointed with the win with Hawthorne. This yeah. week, I was yeah. completely disappointed well, you, you, you in the see, effort they we're, put in. We're, um, we're, we're, we're not travelling well. Mate. We're just. We're, we're like a uh, like a bang average race horse at the moment. Oh, the you, you just know where the ceiling's at, and uh, I think I think the scary thing for me at the moment um, is that I just don't see any improvement in the list. I mean, they, they, I I, th- I think a lot of players have hit their ceiling. Yep. And I look at the players who are out at the moment, and I think to myself, Are you going to make up the four or six goals that we need to get into the eight and be competitive against those sort of teams? And I think to myself, No. no. And then I look defensively and I think to myself, are these guys going to come in and cut off those goals to make us a lot no. better, to make us a lot better team? And I think, I think not. Well, that's and, the and, issue. Yeah, Forget about problem. someone coming in and kicking yeah. like everyone talks about Kuna yeah. coming yeah. in and kicking your four goals. Forget about that because that wasn't our problem. No. Yeah. Our problem was conceding those goals, and Kuna isn't going to save well, us from I think that. The, the amazing thing is, and 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 it, under Brendan Bolton's tenure, is that. <laughs> We couldn't kick a score. Yeah, it was that whole oh, you know, yeah, we yeah. can't kick a hundred points. Yeah. We can't kick a hundred points. Now we just yeah. can't stop conceding a hundred points. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got a nice little stat. If we go back to, uh, you can set the tone for the stats because I've got. Oh, we go I've back to the stats, presser. The stats. Remember, we did this last. I don't think it was against Melbourne. Yep. Simon Goodwin in his presser. Yeah. Uh, you go on. I'm gonna have a sub. What did he say? Fuck. Apparently we've kicked a hundred points most weeks, so we're still two out of eleven there, Simon Goodwin. And uh, the opposition this year has kicked seven out of eleven games, a hundred points. Kicked hundred points. And two other games were high nineties against. Uh, Do you know what that tells me? It was two other. So that's games. nine. Do you know what that tells me? Basically nine out of eleven games. Do you know what yeah. that tells me? But at the end, I don't, I don't really care about us scoring a hundred, them scoring a hundred. It's the way we can see the hundred yeah. points. So. It's the way. It's the way. It's very, we're very, very abject. I yeah. think our defense is easy to score against. Easy, just easy waltz through. Right? I mean, we, we said it all. Yeah, man. I mean, you could say, you know what game? And I know we beat them and we smashed them comf- comfortably. But the Fremantle game, they still walk goals through us. Yeah. Off half back, two, three kicks to get a goal off a kick in. I think there was still a point where they kicked like yeah, that. they kicked like, four goals in a yeah. row, something like that. Yeah. And then there's another one. Yeah. The four goal swings. Yeah. It's not six goals, but it's four goals now. They're four coming five clubs. goals. It's the same Yesterday, thing. It's a clump of goals, man. Yeah. Yesterday they kicked three, a four, three fours. Four in a row. Three fours. Three times. Yeah. Far out. Jeez. And tell me, you got this other stat. Tell me, oh. with the first set of four goals, when were they scored? All oh, in red time right. in the first quarter. Now, yeah. I've been through all the games this season. I thought, you know, go back. And we ad- we addressed this last week, the week before. It's the same shit every week. You can go see the spray. <laughs> <laughs> see the spray. Have a guess how many goals we've conceded in red time this year. I think I think I believe it's somewhere in between the 50s and 60s. 66. That's sick. That, that, that that's is sick. Six, that's six red time goals a week on average. That, that is, tell me. that's horrific. What is what does it come down to? Concentration, fitness, fitness, fitness. What is it? It's all of it. It has, it's all it's it has all to be one. It Correct. can't be one thing. It has to be yeah, all. Some of all Correct. parts. Some I mean, yesterday parts. it was four in the first quarter. That's a fucking damning stat, man. It's terrible. But that's, do you, do you, want, you want me to two. read you out you all go. the damning stats from the game yesterday Not, and not through the season? Not really. For the sake, let the viewers. For the sake of the viewers. 
let's get this going, man. Let's, let's, this is this is the, the game. And this, at the end of the day, man, like we we like yeah. we're pretty vocal about the club, right? But these are yeah. the facts here. These yeah. are the facts. You can, only, they go like, you can only go off the numbers. So, so now the the big and now I will preface this by saying every single supporter of our football club, when that team was announced on Friday night, I'm 99.99% of the supporters and members looked at that team and said, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't believe what I said. But, 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 you give your coach... I thought you were joking, diligence. but you were the first one that sent the message, I think, to me. No, you, no, you did. No, you did. Why yeah. don't you send the message and I go, man, they, they have me yeah. on, mate. There's no way. And, and you I'm, kept saying it during the week. They'll name him. Yeah, they will name him. You did too. I wouldn't be. But you, you weren't. But you were just take. Were you taking the piss? No, I knew it just, because it's a Carlton okay, thing. Okay, it's so, a Carlton thing. Oh, yes, oh, but oh, you really believe it? No, I did. Because anyway, it's a Carlton thing. It's how we are. I'll, I'll, I'll preface this by no, saying that the, how where we got smashed and how obvious it was. Right now, we went in with five tools. Right, so you've got you know TDK, Mackay, Pinnett, Levi. And, and Jack. And before that, knowing the weather forecast. Yeah, it was slippery then. You knew it was going to be it was slippery. slippery. As it always is in Sydney. Hey, I, because I booked to go to Sydney the week prop, yeah, and yes. I had a look at the forecast, yeah. and I said, it's going to rain. Yeah. So I knew okay. six days late before. So now, what, what really peeved me is that Teague in the press conference said we got belted in uncontested possession. Yeah. Now yeah. that... That was always going to happen when you've named a lineup that's oh, fit enough to take on the fucking Brooklyn Nets Correct. in the bloody NBA. <laughs> right? They could have played five-a-side basketball outside the courts of Sydney. 100%. Right? Right. Whatever. Okay. Uncontested possessions. 223 to 158. Yep. Belted. Smashed. Disposals for the game. They clearly had more of the football. Yep. 364 disposals to 303 disposals. But the one thing that got me... And this is what pissed me off the most, right? They had more disposals. Yeah. Yeah. They had Hi. 29 more tackles than us. Oh, yes. That, yeah. now this word gets thrown about a lot, indictment. Yeah. That is an indictment on the football club. 100%. To let your opposition have more of the football. And more tackles. And, more and have more tackles. But not just more tackles. They smashed They smashed, smashed us. us. That is, that, is, that is physically being ripped apart. You're chasing Man. the football. How, do you, how can you not have more tackles? The other stat here, I don't know if you got this one, was the marks. Marks. Outmarked. Yeah. Outdone. 107 for 72. Well, they played us at our own game. Right. Because we like to kick it around, don't we? Now, so not only we couldn't get the ball, now, we couldn't even tackle them. This is another one, right? This can you is bring another up the one. other efficiency? The efficiency. Thank you. 66% to we went by to 77. And it was wet. wet. Sickening. So if now, you take that efficiency with the You with cannot, the you cannot a win a game going by that display. You cannot win a game. That is below average, right? And people will say it was where to rah rah. But if you look at Sydney, they went at seven what was it, seventy six or seventy seven percent around what that. They right? So what now they excuses. Got? Now this is the part that sickened me the most, right? They had more disposals than us, right? Now, the turnover statistic was 64 to 61. They turned over the ball more than us, but by only three but times. Naturally they and they had 61 more disposals. That is how bad we used the ball. For the 303 disposals we had in the game, 61 of those were turnovers. That, oh, is, that is horrific. That is, that is absolutely horrific. Inside so, uh, 50s belted again, 58 to 44. Centre clearances, 16 to 12 again. We won the clearances around the ground at the stoppages. But what does that even mean? One out of five times you turn the ball over. One, yeah. One out of five. That's it. I mean, and then and then then I go through, and this this is this is even more than uh, the season rankings uh, for where we sit in these particular statistics. I'll read these out as well. We're eighteenth for kicking efficiency. We're fourteenth <laughs> for points against. We're tenth for disposal differential. We're eleventh for inside fifty differential. We're eighteenth for clearance differential. Eighteenth for tackle tackle differential, and eighteenth for cleaner differential. Wait, okay. How how are you going to win a football game? What is that the Carlton way? <laughs> Is that the culture? But I got a good stuff for you. No, no, no. But we're second in the free kick differential. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> we can't even play the umpires. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the umpires are still giving us time. <laughs> <laughs> still We're still giving us time. I remember saying that. I'm like, people blame the umpires too. you got to blame your own team. Those stats, they what? How many times have we lost? Four times out of those stats. That whole thing is it's damning, it's man. Stats. And I'm telling you, people that oh. can't, people that can't see that, right? I'm telling you, they're delusional, mate. Like, and I they're said like this. They watch the game like this. I said this at the start of the year. I said this after Richmond, right? And I know I jumped early. I said that Teague has lost the players, mate. I'm telling you, mate, there's no way I saw Doc trying to kick off the ground. Oh, don't. Wow! I saw... I saw Weedery and fucking... Jones falling Jones over each other. It's like falling AMF. over each other. It's like AMF bowling. I saw... <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I saw them not going in 100%. But you know them. And that's a problem, I'm telling yeah, you. And if you don't want to fucking blame the coach for this, right? Yeah, but who the bus, who, the who am I going to blame them? The who buck stops, stops with you. It has to, mate. And, and it's all the coaching department. I understand that it's the whole, but he's still the fucking... Why aren't they fucking going in 100%? And I said this. I'm not saying Gary Light... Not Gary Light. Fucking Ross Lyon Ross is the Lyon. answer. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, and I guarantee this, I'll fucking state this, that there is no fucking way they would have played that shit under him. They'd have a hard edge. There's no way. <laughs> Could be right. You could there right. is no fucking way. Now, unfortunately, it's almost not his fault. Like, they put him in this position. The club is too big for this bloke. It's too big, mate. Now, he has put in a shocker of a press conference with Cripps. Oh. Right. That, okay, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I'll stop. I would, I would argue, I would argue to say that the press conference after the Sydney game was even worse. Oh, some of the because things it, Because, it, and let me just, I want to, I want to pick it apart, right? I want to pick it apart because the, the way I looked at it and thought to myself was, where's, where is your, where's, where's, where, where is your competitive edge, right? And when he said, and, and, and this is what got me, right? This is, this is what really peed me off. Now the round, Sir Doug Nichols round. Oh, Fantastic oh. to honour of course, the Indigenous man. players. We I love, love them, it, man. You know? love We've it. done so much for them. So okay. Good. okay. Uh, right? Okay. What pissed me off was that he said, oh, yeah, the, the, the battle between Buddy and Jones was um, was entertaining. And, um, not for know, fucking us, it wasn't. Why wasn't that? Why wasn't not the us. argument? Why wasn't what you said was, look, you know, it was great to see the two... The Go two indigenous it. folks got it, get up, but you know, we, we were pretty poor. We let Buddy kick three goals, and that was really that's cool. He kicked three or four. That's cool. kicked four. And, that, and I'm, I, w- I was really annoyed at that. And that's then, shit. and then, and then the, the comment about Heaney. Oh, oh their, their structure made us match up small on him. No. Well, move the chess pieces, mate. And that's the problem. How was he, how was he allowed to run rampant for four quarters? Well, uh, but but this, th- th- there is a point, right? There's a tipping point where you have to say, okay, well, well, the, the game's even at the moment, right? On the scoreboard, it's even, right? It was. Heaney's a problem, right? Now, do we sacrifice something here to completely shut him down, right? right? Or do we, uh, to give that up, or do we just let it play out and see what happens? Clearly, they let it play out. And he fucking and destroyed he, he us. And he killed us. I thought, he murdered I, us. I thought, I was just thinking in my head in the game, and I'm like... Why haven't they thrown Doc- Doherty on him? Oh, just throw him on him. He's probably your best smaller def- defender that can defend those types. Yeah. Just throw him on him. But do something for fucking going out there. Because Leon, he was man. getting caught on Cottrell, Sard. Double you team him if you have to. I don't know. He was... Do he something. Was, and he had a... You know what? He had him playing... Like, he's been playing good, Heaney, but he... But he's a good player. He's, he's a very he's good player. Good very good player. Good he was one of the ones I already from before the game. You just earmark him. You put him down for minimum two or three. He, he loves and playing. He like everyone, but he loves playing. It's and dangerous. I know he may have been the only matchup, but... Uh, uh, Jones on Buddy. Nah, oh, no, no. Liam no. Stocker on right. Tom Papley. Oh, my and God. Why, why? And he actually why? started all right, Stocker. Yeah, he, but I, th- I think he had Papley. He had, he, I know, but Liam, he, Liam, Liam Papley Stocker. Was, and they did this with Matt Owies. Yeah. But it's his, it's his, how many, it's his seventh or eighth game of football. I know it's serious and all that, but don't give him a lockdown role. Mate, Liam, you're talented. Go You've got a beautiful it. kick of the football. Release Go you. out and have fun, mate. Go out and play for the jersey. Go out and have fun. Look, maybe we've picked you up as a midfielder. All right, you don't have a tank, whatever. I don't know who that's on. 
Go out and have fun, mate. He's he's a, look, he's a fa- he goes harder. You than don't money. ask a gazelle to play a, a, an ugly man's game. He's playing like a one brother. I don't want to like mention the other teams, but other teams on the weekend did that with their young kids, man. Yeah. Go out and play. They and allow play. them to play with freedom. And they won we the games. Don't. I don't want to talk about that scum of a team that did that because I hate them, but they did that and they won the game. Richmond? No, nah, fucking Essendon. Essendon. Essendon cheats over oh. there. But they won the game, man. They got the young They're kids. They're playing with freedom, their kids. And our kids... They're not asking... Essendon are not asking any of their young second-year players to do to lockdown go roles. Down or look old play. Or well, fucking it, Cunningham on Levi and shit like that. That's what it happens what was, all year, mate. Dimmer Hardwick's mantra was, boys, footy is fun. That's it. It's You've serious. That's it's right. a professional sport. But go out there and smile and play with freedom. Liam Stocker is a guy at the moment I look at and I think, you've got oodles of talent with ball in hand. Why aren't the club utilising it? I'll give you another question with our notice here, right? Yep. When's the last time you saw um, Teague do a move on the ground that changed the game? I, I wait up, yeah, yesterday. He done, he done a change, yeah. he changed the game what? What? Casbolt down, back to our floor. <laughs> I mean, I changed the game yeah, for yeah, the yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 there is a one. Tell you me. know what? And and actually, well, if there I will is say one, this. Tell me. There was. There was. Zach well, Williams what, this, against year? Hawthorne. This year. But this year or in his tenure. Yeah, but no, they, this guy this year. Well, you can't no, even no, find it. No, no, no. There was, well, if there I was, was a, to think this hard, no, no, no. no there was a press. When, when he threw, I know he's not playing, but against Frio. Then when we beat Frio up there in his first year, when yeah, he took over, yeah. he threw Kennedy, Kennedy. up forward and Kennedy was, oh, yeah. it was a master stroke to actually get him up there. Yeah, I could have played against and, Frio. Then he played Soss on, on five. Played Soss on five and, you know, whatever, right? Whatever. But I think the issue is... Yeah, you go. No, go, 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 go. What I want to know is, right, Teague, and I, I noticed this down and I've circled it too, Teague went six and five in his first season. Yep. And... and we would admit to say that, mate, he had the boys playing good football. Yeah, yeah but look, nah, 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 nah. No, this but I'm saying, right. yeah, yeah, nah, nah, but this is where I'll stop you here. Honeymoon periods, people get sucked in by this. Every single coach does this. I don't care what, eight out of the ten coaches but that must, come in and then they get it. must have right. No, but they, they show they want to play. Yeah. Because they want to be in the team. Or is it just survival? For That's what I mean. And I think for some of the players, it's survival, you Correct. know what I mean? Because they're trying to impress Correct. the coach. Casbot, oh, he was no. oh, he's amazing, blah, blah, blah. but now where is he? Yeah. He's comfortable, he knows he's going to get a game at work. Yeah. Now, you know, it's not his fault that he played on the it's weekend. It's not his fault. I don't blame Casbot anymore. Oh, right. no. Mate, it's, 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 that, that, that's going to avoid that. Yeah. Because now, and I said this it's about so Murphy, bad. It, it's just unfair on him. Yeah, it's not good. It's well, just to chuck him in the back now. All of a sudden, go play back now. But why, but why, why get him to play down? He hadn't played there for two years. i got no idea. But he just... He just it, it. See, I thought... Yesterday, I thought it was a... Uh, look, I'm not... I, I was a Murphy lover. Not a hater, but just... I think it's time to go. But yesterday, I thought maybe it would have been the perfect game for Murphy. I really do think he would have... He shouldn't have been dropped. That's the first No, I, I don't think he should have been dropped. The, 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 argument, the argument was that um, well, we were struggling it. with our um, ground ball gets inside forward 50 and our forward and our pressure. No, well, and that's been... Well, Mar- well, Martin's numbers suggested oh. that we'd get a lift out of him. Yeah. But he, he obviously didn't have well, any... That's can, can, can. But I will preface this by saying everyone wanted him in. Correct. Mate, no. I don't know him, but why do we no, have to... Oh, my God. You want a bloke that's under fucking done? No, no, we wanted him. No, no, no. I said to you, bloke... You did I say, said, you I did said say. To him, he's been out with a calf injury yeah. for how long? By the knee. The knee, the knee, the knee sorry. The knee. Yeah, but he's, he's fucking calf, he's calf was strapped. strapped Everything's yeah. strapped. Everything. Yeah. Just give him a run in the twos. Give him 50, 60% of the game. Let him run through, see how he comes out of it. Why are you bringing him up to Sydney in the wet? You know it's going to be a hard game. They're gonna, it's yeah. going to be a slog fest. Yeah. And you bring in, in, in Mar- he was good for one and a half quarters and he blew up and he was out of the game. Yeah. He didn't do anything after he had no He had no influence. He had one beautiful pass to yeah. Jack yeah. Yeah. and that was it. He had no influence. I mean, I mean, if you want to put him I'm in the fire, you, there it is. No right? other good side does that. No. You, if you're not you ready, you don't bring him in. for what? Eight weeks? I mean, you look back in hindsight now and you look back at the output and you think... Yeah, mean, but that the was move, always going to happen. The move sort of reeked of desperation. It was. It was. I think. It was. I don't, but I don't mind them being desperate. I know. But like a bloke that's been out for eight weeks, far out. Yeah. 
Yeah, you gotta be smart. Yeah. You just you know, might as well just leave Murphy in there. You gotta be smart. Yeah, yeah. I agree, man. Uh, I, I, maybe, I well, agree. The, I mean, the club look at the numbers and then and then they track the GPS and they You're tick wrong. off this and they tack off that. I but, mean, but did you say what some of the defensive efforts? Oh, terrible. Terrible, but it's the same. It's been the same every game. I know that our defensive efforts are pathetic. How can it would we have to be the worst the transition of, of oh. offense? How can we? Kennedy how, allowed to stroll into goal. That twice, was, twice. That was out bad. the back. No. Out I mean, the that's back. Kennedy out the back. Now I'm, I'm going to reference something here, and I, I love watching AFL, but I also love watching other sports, and I love watching soccer, or football, Ramble. The rain yeah. or whatever. World Chelsea. World. Probably got one of the best midfielders in the world, if not the best player in the world mm-hmm. right now for me. N'Golo Kante. Mm-hmm. Now, this, he is a little superstar. You, now, people, you might not know who he is, but just go search his name up and see what he does. Now, he doesn't do the most brilliant things for your, for your mind. You think, oh, yeah, he scored a cracker goal. But the work he puts in going the other way, but not also going that way, also going forward. He protects that ball like it's a diamond, like it's his life. Yeah. He, he harnesses that energy defensively, but then goes on the offense. Yeah. And I just, I, I watch him in awe and say, I wish they would show some footage. I know it's not the same as AFL. But he's defensive. It's the same mantra. Correct. It's the same mindset. It's mentality. Change, yeah. It comes down to mentality. I would go down to, to Princess Park and I would say, go watch his fucking game in a high-pressure situation in a Champions League final. The, the ground he covered, oh, phenomenal. He, he was unreal. All right, so the question is here. It, it's simple. Why aren't they doing it? That's, it's Are so, they not invested speaking enough? Speaking of covering Why? the ground. I've got some numbers here. Please. Right. Now, there is now starting to become this uh, cauldron and bubbling around the name Andrew Russell. It's, uh, it's starting to come to the fore now. Yes. Yeah. Right? Now, yes. I'm not going to name his name. And I, I speak to a gentleman who was well, that very is, highly... That's really that's that's nice. I speak to a gentleman who has been involved deeply the in the club. Who has been involved deeply at the club for a number of years, and he no, he no longer works there anymore, uh, but deeply involved. Yeah. And um, he told me he said, "How has Andrew Russell escaped criticism in the mainstream media and from the wider supporter base at the Cup of Football Club? How has he escaped criticism?" He hasn't escaped criticism the back from now, us. Now, now. I, I, will, I, will, I will preface this by saying, right, now I have a few close mates who are sports scientists and they work in s and um, a few of them work for the Northern Bull Ants as well. And Now, with this sort of fitness regime and, and what they do and, you know, we see these soft tissue injuries and all that, but the thing is, is that if these players are ticking GPS targets and if they're ticking data and if they're ticking all the numbers off, sometimes it's just bad luck, right? Sometimes it's just bad luck. But, but, when you are paid, the amount of money that this man is paid, and you are not getting the high-performance results, not just physically, but mentally Mentally. as well. This is high-performance we're talking about. He's got to get ready. This is high-performance we're talking about, right? Now, when I see those blokes leave the ground dejected and rejected after a loss, I think to myself, what are you doing to pick them back up again? What is their mindset? That's what is their mindset going back into the game? Now, from a physical standpoint, right, I want to read out a couple of uh, stats that I saw on the tracker that I that I jotted down, right? Now, in round one, we covered. Now, this is this will take a, this 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 will take a little bit of time, but hear me out, right? Now, in round one, we covered more territory than the Tigers, right? But we still lost. So we covered two hundred ninety four point five kilometers. The Tigers covered two hundred ninety two point three. Mm. And we lost the game. Now, I looked at the sprint efforts for the game. Yep. Tigers, 314 sprint efforts. Yep. 200. Carlton, 265 yep. sprint efforts. Now, we go to round two. The Blues, 286.3 kilometres covered. The Pies, 280.6 kilometres covered. And we still lost the game. Again, in round three, we won. We covered more territory than the Dockers. We won. Okay, great. 289.2 to 285.9. 
Round four against the Suns, it was the same thing. We won, we covered more ground. Then the very, issue started. Very, very similar. Yeah. Though. But then very the issue similar, started, yeah. right? Then the issue started, right? But this is the problem. You talk about inches, centimetres, miles, yeah. metres. It's all that. Against Port Adelaide, 281.7 Ks covered Port. Carlton, 269.4 Ks covered. Against the Lions. And they had, what, five injured too. And they had, they had a couple go down. Yeah. Against the Lions, 296.2 kilometres covered by the Lions. The Blues, 280.4. Also had three injured yeah. on the bench. Against the Dons, we covered more mileage, right? They had a lot younger... They had, they had a host of 19-year-olds out on the ground. We covered more territory than them we won. Against the Dogs, 293 kilometres covered. The Blues, 288. And against the Ds, we covered more territory, but listen to the total sprint efforts. D's 262, Blues 207. Bah, that's like, this is an extra lot. 60, man. Now, it's against the Hawks, 282 to their 281. And against the Swans this weekend, we were outdone again, 284.6 kilometres covered by 281.8 so, kilometres. So, when you look at that, I'm just I'm thinking of all the games. Look how close our numbers are when we when we win and how much our output is and then look at it on the other end and it's yeah, kind yeah. of like reminiscent to the scoreboard yeah you know what i mean it's yeah. kind of got that you yeah know. and and th those sprint efforts there i mean oh, we, we covered standing. more territory yeah. than the tigers but their sprint efforts were so much higher and we covered more territory than the demons but their sprint efforts were so much higher so, so tell I mean, me something why why why, why, the why why well it's the wheel is a fitness it has to be a bit of both. Well, it has to be but, but, fitness. no one is absolved from criticism no. At this level of a gap, but in any game, well, and we are not saying. But this is the thing: people think that it's personal. It's not personal. No, no. it's nothing to do with it's that. It's a collective. It's, it's odd, odd. We want them to be better. Yep. And how do you make people better? You hold them to account. You hold their feet to yeah. the fire. You don't pat them on the back and say, "Well done, oh, great no, job." No shit. You don't do that. Even There's a time and place for that. Not now. Not now. And then the last quarter statistics. I just. I mean, look. I mean, look. Round one against the Tigers. Our final quarters are horrible. Round one they against are. the Tigers, 5-7 to 3-2, we lost. Round two against Collingwood, 3-3 three, three to 1-3, three, we lost. Round three against Frio, 3-3 three, three to 3-2, three, we lost. The Suns, oh, we, we barely got over the line in this car last quarter, 1-3 to 1-7. Yeah. Last quarter against Port Adelaide was <laughs> one one to three four, but the game was done and dusted. Right? Oh, and they had stat batting. How many how many players did they have four. off the ground? So they were managing, yeah. right? The Lions, we won the quarter by a point, 2-1 to 2-2, two, two. Yeah. did you The Dons, we won the last quarter, we won the game, 5-2 to 4-3. The Dogs was an indictment, 6-3 to 1-3. The Demons was a tie, 1-7 to 2-1. We conceded eight scoring shots in the last quarter. The Hawks, we won by four points. We only kicked one goal in the last quarter against Hawthorne. Well, we only kicked two goals for the half. Well, there you go. In that game. Right. The Hawks, 1-4 to 1-zip, and the goal was a... <laughs> The goal was Harry Mackay's goal from was 85 one. metres out. He had to do and a in the goal. last quarter against Sydney, 4-5 to 1-3. So it's clear to me, it is clear to me that they games. cannot run out games based on this statistical evidence here on output. I don't know what the GPS numbers are saying, but that distance covered and the sprint efforts is telling me that these blokes that aren't up to it in that regard. Now, hey. it looks like to me that they're all sizzle and no steak. Well, you can see it. You can actually, It's actually evident on the ground. When you're there and you're watching, you know what's going to happen. If we aren't in front by five, six, seven goals at three well, goals... Well, I don't five, think five's enough. It has to be six or seven. Because five, I think, they're well, going to catch us. Well, if you look at yesterday, we every game that we go out... No, not every game. We go out and we start strong. But there's no reward for effort on and the scoreboard. We can't put teams away on the scoreboard. I feel as though we, we have these moments in games under T where... We, we do look really we good. Do. And we do. I there are moments where we look fantastic. In that first right? quarter, I thought, oh, 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 shit. And this is where I don't think, and, then, and my argument against yours by saying that my, I rebut you because I actually do think they're playing for him. Right? I think they're playing for him. Right? But I just don't think they have the David Pete space. has the nous. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he has the nous. Right? And I don't think these players yeah. have the nous. They don't we have it because say, it's off him. But it's we, vibing off him, right? And I want to I wanna actually... There was a little moment there, right? And I mentioned this on the fan cams last night where I th thought to myself, geez, maybe they are losing him a little bit because who was the last person that they spoke to at three-quarter time? David T. 
and what happened in the first three minutes or five minutes. They, put, they put us away. Mm. And, and that, that was the first little moment to me thought, yeah, that I thought, go. but when you're saying... I just got that wrench in the stomach. I just, but when you're I just saying they're not wrench. playing no, for I understand what you're I'm trying to say. I'm not saying they're not going out there giving it all, but what Correct. I'm saying is they don't believe in it. They don't okay. believe in it. So how can you yeah. play for it if you don't believe what's about to happen? I understand what you're saying. You talking know what's about happened? That. I'm telling you. Everyone's been fucking hoodwinked. Hoodwinked. Yes, hoodwinked. You know what a hoodwink is? I've got no idea. Have a look at the bottom of the screen, everyone. And have a look. There's a picture there. Have a look at the bottom of the screen. Have a look at the hoodwink. This is what hoodwinked is, right? This is what hoodwinked is, right? Why are you being deceived by uh, contracts being signed, Eddie Bits getting new boots, oh, the every round, we're getting absolutely reamed every week. That's hoodwinked. Can't respect. All right, this is what's happened, man. For, I'm telling you, everyone wake up to this, man. They are just hiding the deficiencies we've got in this side, in the bloody, the coaching department, the, the assistant coaches, the fitness guy, the boot stutter. How many times did they slip over? Yeah, what's happening to the fucking boot stutter? He yeah, can't even get it right, it you was, know? It was slippery out there yesterday. But, yeah. I put, uh, sometimes I... Well, we play five tools. I... <laughs> Just stop to drag it on a little bit. But no, drag it on as long as you have to. I um I looked yesterday and I and I saw the leaders. Now, yep, Crips. I mean, fuck me, what a game, yeah. Awesome. Crips. Crips. I thought, you know, he's really coming back now. But he I look is. at other leaders on that ground and well, Jones is one, yep. Weedering is another. Yep. 100%. Doherty. There was yep. one point where Doherty I don't know if he half stumbled or whatever, but he he went in, but he kind of, it was an um and ah moment. Am I, should I put, and I'm just like. Yeah. The I, kick off the ground was the worst. That was the bad, but the you know what? Bad. There, that was bad. I'm, you know, I'm going to get the footage. We'll put the footage up. I'm yeah. telling you, they kicked the goal from it. And I just looked at it and I thought, you know, he's been playing, he's been playing well, but I no, looked no, at that moment well. there and I looked moments, at, the, at the, that, and I'm just. It's a little moments. I, I raised it. I just yeah. flipped it. Yeah. Those small moments. Yeah. Are, we need They're down to themselves. They're not going think. in that hundred percent. And I'm telling you, the reason, man, you don't do that is you don't believe in what's about to happen, man. You don't trust your teammates. Why don't they trust their teammates? Why don't they trust their instincts? I'm telling you, there is something wrong with the leaders. And I'm not saying it's well, just the coaches. Is. It's the whole All fucking them. top of the yeah. thing. Well, what, did, what, what did I read out at the start? Yep, it's on the head. Yeah, it's on the 100%, man. You know? And it's been going on for fucking years, mate. It's oh, been going on for years, man. 15 years. The man. issue is, is that the, the, the club have done the right thing by going to the, the draft. draft. Right. Yeah. And drafting these players and drafting top yeah. end talent. But the thing is, that does not guarantee you success. No. It doesn't guarantee you success. So out of all those drafts, yeah. and we, we all we went young, right? And that's good. We, yeah. we did what we yeah. had to do. Out of, forget about fucking weeks and that because they were always going to be stars. Okay. Who's improved? Not many. Well, what? You look at it, right? And, and this is where. Well, they're not playing, if anything. But the fucking Dell played. Was just say. But Dell played the fucking first year and well, a half. This, so did O'Brien. This, this is where I think, and I was having a chat with uh, Jad. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Shout out to Jad. And we were talking about it, and I and I've said this a million times to him, and I've. I mean, you picked all of them up in the draft, yeah? And I understand you need experience to get you through rather yeah, than rough, of But you you have to kind of filter them out and say, look, it's time to go now. Yep. You know, you, I know Ed Kerno, hard and so rah, rah, but look, it's time to go now. We've got, you know, your Dows and blah, blah, blah. Time to go Kaz Bolt, you know, your March yep. mates. I know he's injured, but, you know, you've got other players coming through. You know, your Murphys, your Eddie Betts. I mean, we love Eddie Betts. I mean, he's played... It's what are you saying to the other those kids that you've drafted? I understand that it they have to get it. their spot. It undermines it. But what yeah. we said, oh, we're going to go to the draft, or we're going to put games into these kids. Oh, now they're not playing anymore. You've still and got to earn your spot. Though. I That's understand clear. that, but you've put them in there, and now you've taken them out. No. No. So well, now, and SBS is one of those. I think oh, they're man, ruined. Look, I, per, I, I love him. They've ruined him, and he's gone. Yeah, well, I, th I think he is. And, yeah. and, and this is where and I said this. Look, I see well. the development in other teams, their youngsters, how they come They believe. On. Look at Sydney. 
You but see, it was on display. It was when's on display. the last key that came on? What is it? It's a culture. I know you got lots of sauce it's, and it's all a, that. It's a winning culture. I'm mentality. telling you, I used to believe that it wasn't, but I'm telling you. And you, you look back to last year, all those games that we lost, you go, oh yeah, but we only lost by a kick. Nah, nah. Win no, those games. Bullshit. Because bullshit. those are what make the team. Those, those kids start believing, go, yeah. fuck, we're good. Yeah. Because that's what you want. You want to go out there with a bit of swagger and say, Fuck, we're on today. Oh, yeah. You know, Brisbane, they used to get those little wins against those teams. You go, now they're like, fuck, they're humming seven in a row. I, I go back to GWS as well. I know they got towed on the weekend, but it was through victim of circumstance. Yeah, that's they fly, yeah. float yeah. back, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But they don't blame it on fucking injuries anymore. Yeah. They don't. What they beat West Coast in West Coast no. with kids in their team. I'm telling you, all we do is make It's excuses. mentality. It comes down to mentality, the cultures, the, the foundations you set. And if the top do that, make excuses, filters through. it filters through. It, it's filtering through to the young kids, mate. I'm telling you, from board to the fucking bottom there, forget about the players, from board to the bottom of the coaching and that, they, they're all to fucking oh. blame. Not one of them has got a fucking winning mentality. You, there, you wouldn't I'm telling you, we need John Elliott back. I'm telling you, that bloke there, I'm telling you, all it was was just about winning. Sport is about winning, for fuck's sake. I don't give a fuck about the 80,000 pretend members we've got. Right, because we're only getting like 20,000 at the games. I don't know where all these... No, we're rocking up. The boys are rocking up. But but what does it mean? But... What's it mean, though? I looked at yesterday. It means nothing. I don't know if you rewatched the game back on thing, but I had a look in there. There's a big crucial moments. I don't know... Maybe he's good under pressure. David Teague, but all the coaching staff. Oh, yeah. They were all sitting there like this. Because yeah. they've got no idea. I'm looking at them and I'm like... Get animated. I saw this that. Is, but, uh, maybe that's how they are under pressure or whatever. But I'm looking at them like... Show something. I mean, it filters through down to the team. I can just feel the energies and I'm like, I'm not one for energies and that, but... Just look at him. Man, like, where's off? If that was... If that was me as a coach in department, man, and something's happening, and I would be going, I'll be going, mate, yeah. what's going on here, mate? Why is this happening? What the fuck? You're even, doing you see, one thing. even see the best coaches get animated. I'm like, maybe that's not his coaching style. I don't know. But maybe it is because he apparently he sprays them. But, you know, you see Buckley, you see Fagan, you see Beveridis, Beveridge. Yeah. They're what, losing it. But you know what that photo, you know that photo phone. showed me it looked like? None of them had an idea what to do. They because look clueless. If you're not saying anything, look, you've got no them. idea. At least say something. What's going on here, fellas? What is going they on here? just sat there like this. I'm like... I don't know. Uh, I don't at the end know. of the Maybe day, you can blame like, look, at the end of the day, it, it stops with, with the coaching department and that. Like, at the end of the day, it's the, the proof's in the pudding. I'm not seeing results. I'm blaming fucking everyone, mate. I've supported this Collective, club yeah. and you have too. I've supported this club longer than any of those players have played there, any of those coaches have fucking been there. And I'm telling you, man, I'm sick of it. I'm fucking sick of seeing this shit. I'm sick of seeing this shit. I don't want to hear excuses. I just want to see fucking wins. That's it. That's all I want to see. Just wins. Fuck that. They can go and all go and get fucked. Fuck I'm telling yeah. you now. Mate. I agree. Fuck it, mate. It's they not a joke the anymore. Fuck the shits, it's, mate. It's not they a joke. They all jump in their fucking Mercedes Benz. They fucking go home, yeah, sit in their spas. It's not a joke anymore. But it, it's not. It's actually not a joke anymore. Like, mate, I've stopped myself from going down to fucking training and blasting them. I don't give a fuck anymore. Oh, I, I, I didn't stop myself against Brisbane, but mate, you, you got to show a bit of something now. I mean, the season's done. I, I look, I wrote right, off the season, season after round one. It was just the same shit, but... The season's done. The season's done. Uh, I mean, hey, yeah, listen. Well, listen. It's a long-winded one, but, mate, it's fucking oh, well-deserved no, because we're fucking right, over it. All, we, all day I've been waiting to have my say. This all, is all I'm ridiculous. Mate, I'm just, we and should look, and be we're over all it. Fucking, we're we all, should we're be over it. We're if you're not over it, over, you're accepting a mediocre football club because that's what we are right now. And we're not. No, we are. No, we are, but we're not. No, 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 we are now. We're now not, we are. We've let but ourselves. But the Cowder Football Club is we not. We let ourselves become we like are this. Now. We, we, are we all did this. We are, and I, I, I want to end it on this note, mate. Right? We're a laughing stock, mate. We, we are a laughing stock. Yeah. Fucking laughing stock. We're, we're a laughing stock at the moment, and we're not taken seriously by the rest no, of the competition. Right. And you, you and you see, you see, you see it in the comments on Facebook pages from opposition supporters. You see it in the media and. And you look at what David King said, he said, oh, you know, it, it, these defensive issues, it's an easy fix, it's an easy fix. Why hasn't it been fixed if it's an easy fix? Because the same, it, it's, it's literally, and, and it's a cliche, but it's 
rinse and repeat. It's instilled in it's us. Kind of br nice. Brutal review, little bit of a response, same issues arise again. Like brutal that. review, same issues arise again, little bit of a response. Ba, ba, ba. It wants to come back to We're a reactive da, 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 football club. We're yeah. not proactive. Now, no. that's what, uh, this is this yeah, is yeah, this yeah, is this is and 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 this is my the, my issue is right. Now, I don't know how much of an influence this has on the club and whatever, right? But we seem to take more glee in what we do from a social justice point of view of yeah. the field. Yeah than our integrity on the field. Now that is in by no way to denigrate the issues that the no. club speak about. Carlton respects and the pride and the blah blah blah, whatever, right? No problems. The problem is we seem to take more of an appreciation of fact yeah. that we're so inclusive and diverse yeah. and da 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 whatever. What I want to see is the Carlton Football Club perform on the field. It's all about wins, man. That's what I want to see. Because that in itself will bond everybody right. together. Oh, and you wins, won't have to worry about anything else. You just look at Hawthorne. Hey, come on, man. We all play Richmond. sports. What about Richmond? Board games, whatever. I, I've never played any sort of game to lose. Never. No, never. You know, my son, right, even when he was little, man, I never let him win you Uno, nothing. <laughs> Stuff him, mate. You beat him. You've got to learn, mate. I used to play FIFA against my brother, belt him 15, oh. 30 nil. Used to cry, oh, please, nah, 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 nah that's how you yeah, learn. Yeah, and you, we used to rage it at each other. Yeah, it's fucking it's like, it's you know, the best. That's it. That's it's it. the best. It's competition. It's a competitive event, you know. Yeah. You grow from it. You grow. And I can tell you one thing, right? I can tell you one thing, that all these people that are involved in the issues outside the club that get involved with it and all that, I can tell you one thing that they deal with on. If they saw a Carlton Premiership, oh yeah, the issues there come second. Oh. You know how many, how many issues? Because at the end of the day, the, last few years, the end of the day, like it's the on-field stuff that man, helps you get a morale lifting boost from all the off-field yeah, bullshit that happens. You know the Carlton respects and the this well, and that. It's the same you know, thing. it's great what they do. Yeah, oh, yeah it's awesome. But the core oh, you would do football. that anyway. But that's just that's how businesses are run anyway now. I look at Richmond and I just go, I, I don't hear anything about that. I really don't. No. It's on But it should, the club should be that way wins. anyway. Who cares who's there? Football right. first. Because at the end of the day, you're a football club. And as we've always said, and as Vince alluded to, we've now become the Carlton Business, business club. club. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. there it is. And that's that. All right, listen. Very therapeutic. Yep. It's it's still not over. I mean, nah, it's still burning really inside. Off, but right anyway, right. listen, we've got a show to do and we're going to do some votes. Yep. All right? Because at the end of the day, we've always got the votes. Can, can I go the first? Votes? Can I go first? Because I promise I haven't changed them. Yeah, you can go. Well, I've got them written down. If you okay. change them, mate. Okay, okay. All right. I've got these right. I'll give you a tick for everyone to get okay. right. Okay, all right. Here we go. <laughs> can we play the tick sound? All right, go. go. Okay. okay. One, Eddie Betts. Tick. Here we go. Two, Balenciaga, Zach Williams. Tick. Three, Harry Mackay. Tick. Four, Sam Walsh. Tick. And five, Patrick Cripps. Ah, nice, man. I love it. I love it how you fucking stuck to the plan there, man. Now, nah, that's good. Now, nah, they're good votes. And look, we'll do your votes. Nah, it's the same shit. It's yeah, exactly the same as you. <laughs> you copied each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. I, I put mine in first. Did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I reckon he had a little It was <laughs> just quietly... <laughs> Outside of five, four, three, that was the hardest two to one I've given all year because there was no one outside oh. of those three that. Hey, at least Balenciaga kicked the goal, ah. Yeah, no. That was going to yeah, be rocking the little bit of time. His last, his last two games. And he stat padded too because. In the last half he's, he yeah. has, um, yeah, he started kicking out from fullback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the cheap touches a little freak. But anyway, what about Well, mine was one to bets. Right, I gave two to McKay and three to Williams, so I just swapped okay. them two yep. around, yep. and then I went four Walsh, five Chris. Yep. You know, yep. so Chris was, awesome. was about right. He was, and look, he stood he up. He kicked two big fucking goals. That was good. Isn't that he that? Was he that one, that one. How do your three there. best players play good and you still lose? Stop. Pause. Rewind back yeah. to therapy. He's kicked two big goals, and we just couldn't use the momentum of him kicking <laughs> those two goals. No. They were big up. Now, big can goals. I just, can I just? Like, Cripps has missed all those set shots, right? Now, he's he gone and, and bagged his eye, Mate, it. why did everyone rush to him? No, no. Everyone, mate, fucking good on you. Good. Oh, 
Hey, and also, anyway. in that, was it the second quarter or the third quarter where we got the two cheapy goals? That was the third quarter? No. This... Which two cheapy goals? No, Which it was one? two free kicks Betts? at the start. The, the second quarter. The second quarter. Eddie Betts got the... Oh, yeah, the yeah, 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 then there was a 50-meter. Yeah, yeah, no, that was... Even the gods yeah. were on our side because those free they kicks were, were rubbish. Mate, they were... So like, like, we sat in the chat. <laughs> they were the they were cheapest rubbish. Free, but... And we still couldn't capitalise on it. Anyway, uh, listen, right, overall, so, votes, anyways, let's, let's have a look. Anyway. Walsh, just <laughs> forget about it. 131. But now, we have Cripper has moved up to second Gee, with, with the other co-captain, yeah. with Doc on 53. Uh, well, there that's, we go. That's more editing. It's just like... Yeah, no, no, there you go. <laughs> Two names in there. So now, and then we've got oh, yeah. McKay on 49, Wiedering on 46, and Kuno now back to 35. He didn't score any votes, but... He's up there again. So, look, Cripper's the big one up there. Making it's the same shit. We said this last week. It's the same yeah. five players. Yeah. And what did it's Vince say? You take out those five players, and outside of that, we're going to have an average football team. Yeah. We're going to have an average football team. Yeah. All right, so now, when you go, you get the good and the bad, the, the yin and the yang, and all that. We've got the banana oh, of the oh, week. Oh. Now... I know everyone's waiting for this, but I'm telling you, mate, I couldn't give it to any of the players. I can't give it to any of the players. This one here, it's for the selection panel. This game was lost Friday, Saturday, whenever they did the selection. And to tell you the truth, I'm not going to say nothing else, man. Go give You me got that. one too? Give me that. Just hold that. You are the banana of the world. <laughs> You want to know why? 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 Because the footy god said, <laughs> you're not going to see me this fucking week. COVID, fraud flu, struck. But him, like a little rodent he is, wheedled his way up to Sydney. I don't know how he did it, man. Little, little, <laughs> little rat. He weeded his way up. Teabag from Prison Break, I was. <laughs> and he, you know what? You got what you deserved. Another yeah, Carlton loss. Not only it rained on him, he got shit he had on. to watch it. Yeah, you had you to watch it. Stay there, you the watch the whole. The the thing. Thing. I will say though, I did meet a great man who we yes. mentioned yes. later on. We'll mention him later. We did. Yes, yeah, 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 that, right, that put a. Give me back. That put the gloss. He doesn't deserve the banana. But that they put the gloss on a uh, shit on a shitty game, but uh, no, nevertheless, it was uh, it was a fun time yeah, up in Sin City. Bah. <laughs> uh, back and banana. I, 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 I say that I do deserve <laughs> it. I'll probably give myself the banana yeah. of the week. So I was going to be the banana. They wouldn't let me go there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so all right, so now oh, we go to another segment. And to tell you the truth, I'm going to be honest here. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck's happened. Yeah. Did we have a reserves game? No. <laughs> so, did we have the reserves? No, finish. We had, apparently we had a scratch match yeah. and a couple of Essendon yeah. players play for us. So. <laughs> we got the drug cheats and now. Were, and they were our best players. They were our best players. They always got a game to their side. No, they have the reserves is on hold. All right, so that one's gone. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to go through some points, right? And we're going to do Mars's Minkiaga, and this is Stroke Mars's journal. What Mars is going to do is going to go through some key points uh, yeah. in Every because we went through game. the whole thing, right? We already went through like the whole thing, so but now you're going to go through some key points so we can relive this. And the Ajudo just comes up <laughs> and burns, burns the yeah, esophagus here. Let's go. Let's make this as quick as possible. This is killing me. You need more than that, mate. Ah, fuck. Quarter one, free kick given away, first bounce. <laughs> Could have set up quick enough to defend. Nick Newman was still in Melbourne under lockdown. <laughs> Fast start from Sydney. Uh, good move from the kick in, poor entry inside, 50 to McKay. Walsh tough against Kennedy and Papley. McKay looking lively early. McKay keeps the going. Oh, I don't know, even know what I've written there. Fuck me. Keeps us going. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Keeps us going. Yeah, yeah. Keeping us McKay going. gets Bloody smashed years. on that shoulder. Oh. Bit of a hint. I thought, oh, here we go. As soon as I saw that, I go, oh, no, this is it. Tackle pressure from Sydney, hot early. Very hot. Walsh just everywhere early again. Silk 2.0, uh, that is uh, Martin. Lacey after Sausage, which is uh, Jack Silvani. Yeah. 
Walsh had to call twice again. Balenciaga with a fantastic snap. That one was at Louis Vuitton. That's what oh, I thought. That, that was a, it's a that very good snap. Man. Sausage with a cool finish from the pocket. 21 plays, 9. Carved it up. The Coffin! The Coffin. That's a regulation set shot for him. The snap from the boundary. Oh, Beautiful. How good was it? Uh, 32 to 15 contested possessions. Beating them at their own game early. Fundamentals, Doc. And he picked the fucking ball up. Kick off the ground. Led to a goal. Two quick return goals, 21 to 27. We lead by six. 27 each of two. Four fucking red time goals. Sydney lead, 33 to 27 Again. at the break. Again, man. Cheap free kick in the square. The Coffin kicks another goal. 33 plays 33. Two freebies here. Thank you, umpiring department. And we, we're second on that ladder. We lead again <laughs> through Crips. McKay extends the Coleman lead. Missed tackle from Casbold in the middle. Then Wiedering and Jones. Poor defensively again on Buddy. AMF bowling. Key on par. That's <laughs> good The Kraken. Do I have to say more? Three for him. Fogarty, put your fucking foot through the ball. Oh, God. 30 metres, man. 30 metres. He couldn't make the fucking distance. Wiedering. First intercept of the day for him. It's halfway through the yeah. second quarter. McKay twice holding the ball. Yeah. Mm. Had them under pressure for five minutes for little or no reward. Zero. Stocker, big tackle to dodge a bullet. Yeah. Stocker looks great with the blood pouring from his nose. Yes, yes. Dominance, dominance, no reward on the scoreboard. Crips, okay. ball, handball, and then they get the goal against play. Oh, I was in the middle. 45 plays 53, eight point lead, 4.30 to go. Five red goal, red time goals today. Dumb free kick against Jones. Budwell kicks his third. Four poor free kicks were given away and alleviated the pressure on Sydney. Dominated the corner, but reward for effort, little to none. Really disappointing. Quarter three, that premiership quarter begins. <laughs> it doesn't exist no more. <laughs> Always gets body position with, body position with a nudge. Got to mark that. Got to mark that. Was waiting for Papley. And the plumber, there he was. He arrived, man. Louis Vuitton getting in there. Good. After the tackle on the Austrian claw. Weedering that was on the boundary. Yep. Yeah, got yeah. One. Then he got one on the yeah. head. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Giving away a lot of cheap free kicks today. Where is the cockroach? Lol. Missing posters for him. <laughs> oh, here he is. Actually, as I wrote that, oh, here he is. I'm, I'm dead so serious. Put it out of bounds on the fucking full. A 15 metre kick. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah. Games on a knife's edge. 59 to 54. Swans lead. The apple crumble is happening. Cripps kicks a big goal and continues to hold the apple crumble aloft. TDK, big, big goal. Big pressure moment. Slotted. Did we hit the yeah. front then? Yes. We did? Yeah. We did. The Kraken marks and lines up from 55. Bang! The post. <laughs> Hack kicking it in out of our defensive half. Half They are queuing up. That's a free to, to Newman, you redneck dogs. <laughs> Remember the holding of the man? It was actually yeah. a free kick. Cheap goal, Heaney. Bet, how did he hit the post? Oh, uh, yeah, God. Yeah. Dumb free kick in the fourth half against Newman. Are we just holding on here? That's when I wrote to end the quarter. Yes. Quarter four before it even starts. Are we good enough? Need that first goal early. The cockroach! Put it over to the top to McKay. Do we remember that? Yes. On the half forward, yeah. McKay oh. was in there. If he went... If he... No, 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 no. Is that when he went to the pack? So instead of going in over the top to McKay, he went back inboard yes. that way. Yeah, exactly. Transition to defence, fucking non-existent. The base of the apple crumble is falling out. Oh, I'm yeah. fucking over it. Oh, wait. Is there a pulse? Crips for three. Yeah. No one likes to defend on the line. Remember when they caught that? They, they marked it on the yeah, line. Yeah. Harry has caught the Casbol variant of the fraud flu. <laughs> as soon as the cockroach went up forward, McKay missed every shot. <laughs> and I'll just leave it there. Exactly what happened, man. That's a good... 
Paul Mann, that's exactly what happened, right? And, and like Harry couldn't even kick a goal anymore. As soon know? as he went up forward, yeah. No, no, no. Go replay everything. Go yeah. replay as soon as Casper went up forward. He missed every shot. What did he kick? Three five. But anyway. But anyway. Three five. Yeah. He kicked three five. Yeah. Kicked three five. You know. So anyway, anyway, good on you. Yeah. Good on you. That was no, well done. Yeah. That was the minkiata. All right, let's come. Let's let the come on, come on, come on. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do we're gonna talk to that great man, Mr. Vince, Vince. Lochisano, yes. and this was talking blue with Rocco. So everyone, watch this. Yep. Welcome everybody to another episode of Talking Blue with uh, Rocco and special guest Vince Lochisano. Lochisano. Don't forget that. Hey, you're Australians, <laughs> reckon it. Lochisano, Stanley. When I went to rock. school, when I went to school, all the teachers, all the Aussie kids, and everyone else, Lochisano. That's it. But all the Italians, Lochisano. And we here. At the great facilities of the Melbourne Coffee Roasting Company. We are. Is our and I'm famous enjoying sponsor. The tail end of my you are. And we got Brandon in the back here. He's making us mm. some coffee here. Beautiful. Hey, uh, Brandon. Hey, guys. Welcome to the facility. Here you there go. And look at this. Making us a coffee. And here we go. Look at this. Look at that. Straight down the hatch. Oh, no. You want to sip it? it? No, no, no. We'll sip it a little bit at a time. So we're here. And just remember, anyone, go to the website, melbournecoffeeroastingco.com. Yep. Put in the promo code, go to 15 for 15% off, hey? You ain't getting it nowhere, I'm telling you. And it's really good coffee, mate. Espresso martinis, coffee, man, these are the best. It is. Anyway, yeah. we're here to talk about one of the big moments, man. And I was this there. is one of my favourite moments as a client. Nice. And one of my favourite players. Well, I was just going to say the reason is because he was my favourite player. Right, the right. minute he arrived at Carlton, I just Jeez. knew he was going to be Jeez. my favourite player from, from that Jeez. point on. man, hard work. I mean, 17 years of pleasure. Oh, great brother. He played till he was like 65. <laughs> hey. 38. 38 years old. 38. 300 and... Nearly 39, actually. 300 and how many games? 375, a game played, record. And how many, did he, how many did he play in Adelaide? 98. 98 for Port Adelaide. Exactly. God so knows how many state games and practice 500. Games. So, so Kevin Barlow, tuck. There you go, mate. We had the real champion there, right? So this yeah. day here was at Princess Park. It was 1994. It was. It was against West Coast. Big rivalry at the stage between Carlton Oh, well, West, West Coast were on top of the ladder. They were clearly regarded as the best well, team in the year. The, they won the they um, in ninety four. Well they won that they year. Won, they won that year. But this game at Princess Park, Carlton were second or third on the ladder at the time and it was a great match of the day. And uh, then this night came. Mm. I was sitting on that wing, you were sitting on the opposite wing. Right? We're, yeah. we're sitting there and then this moment happened and we're gonna put it on right now. So oh. this moment happens. So the ball's in our back line and Stephen Silvani gets a hold of it. Here he goes, he gets a hold and of it. Sees great. His, Look how he's run. Doesn't he run like Jack? Yeah, or Jack runs like Jack. Sees his great mate Bradley, who actually did really well to tap that from Matera. Yeah, that was a great rivalry on the day. Bradley versus Bradley Matera. Matera. And look who he passed to the, to the vet. To the other South Australian. And look at this now, man. Eyes on the ball, 50. Banana. The crowd led the way. Goal. That whole ground just... Elevate like the whole mate. That was the end of the ground. Man, you should have seen, man. We were pumped, man. Oh, you know? yeah. We were pumped, man. If we look at it again, we're going to look at it the replay again, man. Look at his eyes, right? It lights up when he sees those mate, goals. He's got, he's got vision just for the goals. But he, he, he made that settled. kick based on look how far away he was, the wing, the look whole lot. It was just a perfect kick. He settles, he very settles, deliberate. and he goes bang. That's from 50. He did that kick again against Brisbane a couple of weeks earlier or later. Yeah, yeah no, he so, Now, look, look, those days there. Scintillating play by Bradley. Mate, at the, I mean, we keep saying it. At Princess Park was, I tell you, mate. <laughs> it, was it was a cauldron, wasn't oh, it? It was the best, man. How was the, how was the feeling of the crowd oh, after that goal? Mate, we pumped us. It, it really pumped us up, you know what I mean? And the whole, and those days there, man, we had champions on oh. everything. I don't think we had a much player. Not in those years. No, no, no way. Every 94, 
Uh, we, went out, we went out in straight sets in the finals. 93 we had actually, a couple of average players. In fact, I think Bradley might have been one of those players that missed out on the 94 final series. That's why we... It's one of the reasons why we didn't go any further. Was it Bradley but, Dean? Dean did him? Can't no. remember, but Bradley was definitely one of them. Yeah. And 94-95, it was just the perfect mix of players. Yeah. 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 No, so, that was a good side, and they used to uh, give you value and... and um, you know, you were never out of a game. No. And, those are, and, you know, like, we should have. We should have won the grand final that year. We got we got kicked out in straight sets. Well, we did. We, um, and Geelong. We, do you remember that? We went to the Geelong. Was it, that yeah, was, yeah, it was the Waverley. Geelong at Waverley. And who was out? Do you I remember? think it was Couch, Bearstow and Hockey, Man. I think. Three of their real gun players. I was giving it to the Geelong supporters. I was way <laughs> around. I walked out of that. Did you have your face after that? Bang, I walked out. I was losing his bloody tail between the leagues for that one there. But we came back in uh, 95 to, to finish off the business. And, and yeah, it wasn't really soft after 94. Everyone yeah. said too old. The, the, the investors behind them, uh, too slow, too old, too... And I, I also remember we won the first seven games, right? Yeah. And then we lost to Sydney and St Kilda. Yep. And I remember even the footy show was hammering the... They yeah. can't football club yeah. because of what, what guys have. Even the bubble, the bubble Even our coach was saying, if we're going to play, we're going to be kidding us. You know, and how do you know the next game after that who we play? Hawthorne. Yes. At Princess Park. Yep. And we beat them off by about, I'm telling you, 100 you points. And I knew that was it, man, we were going to do it. I never expected 16 in a row. And, and I love Craig Bradley. No, Absolutely. A champion, champion. Man. I mean, imagine if you had a player of that quality delivering the ball into Harry Mackay now. And he's gut running. He's Probably a, Sam Walsh would be the only one I, was gonna I say, reckon is about the, the quality. I reckon the quality is the Sam Walsh mm. because the gut running that, that bloke did. Yeah. I'm telling you, he played like till 38. You Bradley, know, do you know that? Do you know also that, play cricket. There was a. I, I remember even Don Scott was the um, commentator on this particular day, and he, he, made, he made mention of um, Craig Bradley on, on a game that we had at Waverley, and he said they tabulated how far Craig Bradley ran in a particular game: twenty-eight kilometres. Twenty-eight kilometres in one game. That's amazing. That's two-thirds of a marathon. Oh, okay. right. All right, thank you very much. That was a great memory. It was. And until next time, go Blues. Go Blues, thank you. See you, Rob. All right, guys. Hey, how was that? That was the good old days, mate. You see, Bradley, mate, that, I'm telling you, man. Big running. We mentioned that in the, in the, in the little in the little clip the there, man. The bloke was a machine, mate, and he should have had the record because he played, he played 375 and he played 98 more. Yeah, it wasn't in, in, in South in Australia. South Australia. For the seniors, right? And he played, I'm telling you, it was close to 500 games, mate. That, the guy was a machine. That goal there, mate, he would do that often. Yeah. But as you were watching him, I'm telling you, man, he settled, he goes, he kicks, he kicks the goal. But the one thing I used to love about Bradley was he did this in the grand final, right? Kicks the goal, turns around, goes back to centre man. Back to his marker. Now he he did that in '95. And That's the one. He just did the old. He did a bit of a to say we're on, mate. We're on. Yeah. So that was the Bradley era, mate. Yeah, the yeah, number twenty-one. Well, 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 right. mate. I'm telling you. Well, there it is. Yeah. All right, another eight. This is a big segment now. We wait favorite. for this. Oh, we wait for this. Favorite. This is gonna be joy to everyone. We're over it now. We've got to do some joy. We're going to have a few laughs here. Let's go for my Kit Kats. Here it is. All right. Here it is, Thomas. What we've got today. All right. So the first one we got here yes. is... Oh, we, we always love... Yes. An umpire. Boy gets bowl, smashed. Yeah. Everyone have a look at this. Oh! <laughs> mate, he gets wiped out. That's a good one. But look how quick he gets up. Hey? He is. Yeah. Bad old mate. Hey, not not like, was it gold that was behind? It was behind, I think. Yeah. But not like the old days. <laughs> Again, mate. He's poor bloke, mate. Man, he's going to be in history, man. I'm telling you. I don't know what happened. It's going to come up for everyone. Look at him, mate. He won it. It's going to come up all the time. Hey. It's going to come up all the time. He was in the movie. He was in Ben Hur, that bloke, mate. He won an Academy Award for that. Anyway. All right, listen to me. I've got a video now of... Uh, oh, this is Teague addressing the the current team at three quarter time. Remember, oh, watch this. Thank you. Oh, miss it! <laughs> See those people over there? Yeah! No, yeah. no, what it! Yeah! How are we going to get that? Was that 
tea? <laughs> What's that tea? Training <laughs> wheels. <laughs> she get she get this kid, mate. Oh, they said the way he was reading them up, mate. Oh, God. Maybe they should have got him at the three to- three quarter time. Hey. Mate, that was that was superb. <laughs> hey, I got another one here. This is a good one. Hey, listen. Hey, oh, I've got a picture yeah. of our boss. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes, this Terry, yeah. and him watching what Sydney did to us. <laughs> <laughs> this what they did is, to us. That is exactly what they did to us. That is <laughs> a bit of sex education there. Yeah. 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 Exactly all, you, you, all you just do is watch on. Just watching it. We're all in shock. You're just watching it. I think. So speaking of shock and being upset and watching it, how do we stop it? Oh, so. so. We well, now, everyone have a look at this now. I've, I've seen this now. This is actual footage of a calm supporter complaining and how the club stop it. How to get your baby to start crying? Bang! Propaganda machine. Pull. Who's we? Who's we? Shut up, I don't know what's going on. Supporter bases. You can't be negative. Can't be negative. Boom in the face. Shut up. I love that video, man. That's the best. I'm telling you, that's spot on. That's exactly what's been happening. We keep getting good we. I'm telling you, man. Good mate. Who's the other one? Never. 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 For 27 years. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, and that was it. That was it. Uh, that was all. No, we had nothing else, didn't we? You had nothing else. No, no. I think that was it. Yeah. No, that was it. 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 All right. Now we go to another segment. It was a bit scarce this week, but uh, yeah. no, no. the, the jumper right. punch comp. Comp. Yep. Yeah. So we got this picture here. So everyone have a look at this. This is Blake. And Ashton, love the kids getting involved. Mate, Thank, fantastic. God we got kid support. Well, uh, I will, we will say with this with an asterisk because there is a bit of swearing in the show. So yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, it, it, they're all going to grow up eventually. Yeah, so that's, that's it. That's it. What, I love like, the like, like, like the kids. Man. Nah, the the next generation, I think we're missing. They need to see something. They need, uh-huh. Well, what we're showing. Robert is the Wall passion. said it. We're going to lose a generation if we keep losing. Yeah, no, we've seen that. So, we've seen that. We've seen that's that. that. So that's it. So that's it. So okay, everyone, good. everyone, yeah. um, send in your photos. Send in the photos. I'm telling you, Please a signed in. jersey. Yes. Plus, plus, you get to meet us. Signed jersey. Yeah. By the, you mm-hmm. said you're going to get any player. Only player. Any player. Anyone. Any Anyone. Maybe, maybe some, even if coffee they, from Melbourne, coffee hey, from Melbourne, I'll get it. And what about if it's the cockroach? If you want him, we'll get him. We'll get him, but I might smash him. Too, so. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, nah. nah. But no, nah, we'll get anyone. All we'll right, get done. anyone. Done. And there'll be a, a deal, few, there'll be a few more things in there. We'll throw no, one. no, we're going to throw we're a few more things. Photo. It's building, it's yeah. building. We, we got, I think, in the next couple of weeks. Mark Merrin said he's going to send something yeah. soon. So yeah, we're yeah, 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 right. Come on, mate. Get those pictures in. Melbourne Coffee Roasting. Hey, Melbourne Coffee. How good was that coffee? It was a good coffee. It was I'm telling you, not, not good. Nah, young right. salad is great. It's great. It's actually really good. I'm telling like, you. I'm not taking the try. Hey, listen, just try it, and if it's no good, man, I'm telling you, get back to me, man, and I'll. We'll oh, reverse we'll them. We'll give no, Brandon a fucking deal. No, 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 you might not. You won't do your money. It's great. I reckon I won't reimburse them. It's great. I'm going to good coffee. All right, I'll tell you the But it's real. Brandon. Bevy Lacqua. Bevy Lacqua. Bevy Lacqua. And Bevy Cafe. And Bevy Cafe. Yep. All right. Hey, listen, he doesn't tell us anymore what he's about to do. So this is oh, yes. Paul's cool. But I don't know what he's going to do. He's always gonna, He's always now, he's thinking, what are you going to do? Oh, you'll find out on the you day. Shakespeare himself. Like a Shakespeare. 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 Well, yeah. you know what? <laughs> Two's a crowd, three's a party. I thought I might as well just keep on the theme with the polls, right? Because I know the people love it. So I'll give the people what, what they, they love. love. Yeah. They got Paul's call at the start of the show. That was my call. Cucaracha yeah. winning the day. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's Paul's call, yeah. But this is a poll. Paul's poem about our game against uh, Sydney. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get straight into it. <clears throat> our beloved Blues travelled up to Sydney. I'd book a flight, left the state, even though it was a bit risky. <laughs> What followed after that was pain, disdain and misery. It was a loss against a good team who has now overtaken us convincingly. The coaches and selection panel made us scratch our heads. We went in with five talls and got smashed on the spread. Teague said we were outnumbered and well beaten in uncontested possessions. 
Well, what else did he expect fielding a team who looks set for a basketball lesson? <laughs> the Williams experiment through midfield has come to an abrupt end. It was a move we tried to pull off with a big spend. He, Norsad, has improved this side who now sit four and seven. This team, this club, look a long, long way from premiership heaven. Some fans are angry, some fans are happy. Some fans are saddened, but most of us just feel crappy. Regardless of your opinion, we all just want Carlton to win. Whether positive, negative, or balancing in between, the Jumper Punch crew is here to chat, no matter which way you lean. I'll leave the club with a message, and I hope the players and coaches listen. S something needs to change. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a given. Start with your fitness regime. Another soft tissue injury, this time Michael Gibbons. In that last quarter against the Swans, we looked out on our feet. How come our fitness guru doesn't cop enough heat? A prime Patrick Cripps could barely chase down Josh Kennedy because Cripper and his troops look void of energy. The time for semantics and lovey-dovey nonsense is over because if you boys keep playing like this, the jumper, the jumper Punch crew will never be sober. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. 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 Shakespeare's done it again. Yeah, done it again. And you know what? You, you would have had a plenty of time to, on the way back on the plane there. <laughs> Bloody to write that. That was good. That was good. And it was actually, that was actually really good. It was really good, man, and and you know what? They're bloody true. That's why they're good. They're good. So yeah, I'm not encouraging excellent. drinking alcohol to get over your pain, but uh, uh, I'll tell you what, the metagena goes well. Metagena, man, like has that, so. got me through. It's got me that. through. All right. Well, all right. Now it's time well, for everybody's favourite segment. Rocco's Rats. All right. So Here it is, punters. So I thought I'm going to, you know what? I'm I'm gonna, gonna, I've got to turn myself to... To face you and feel I'm the actually going to, I'm going to get up and I'm going to something. Oh, yeah, we're going to go. I'm going to, listen, I'm going to get one of the great men okay. to give a motivational speech. Yep. Right? That, um, that was given and I thought I'm going to redo this speech. And not only you can be artistic, I'm going to be artistic too. So, okay, go for so it. let's get. Oh, 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 oh. the SCG. That's oh, the Medagina, mate. That's the Medagina. This okay. is me talking. Here we go. In the, in the dressing room to the count people. Radio. <sighs> you know, when you get old in life things they get taken from you I mean I mean that's part of life but you only learn that when you start losing stuff you find out life this game is full of inches just like football and because in either game life or football the margin for error is so small I mean one half step too late or too early don't quite make it. Half a second too slow, too fast, and you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break, in every game, every minute and every second. On this team, we fight for that inch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. We claw with our fingernails for that inch because we know when we add up all those inches, it's gonna make the fucking difference between winning and losing, between living and dying. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win those inches. And I know if I'm gonna have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that inch. Because that's what living is. It's those six inches in front of your face. Now, I can't make you do it. You gotta look at the guy next to you. You gotta look in his eyes. Now I think you're gonna see a guy who will go that inch with you. You're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for the team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same thing for him. That's a team, gentlemen. 
And either we heal now as a team or we die as individuals. That's football, guys. That's all it is. Now, what are you going to do? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to run, no. run through a brick wall for yeah. you right now. Yeah. 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 That's, That's it, man. I thought I... Very, very... Uh, Delve into your inner, you know, inner Al Pacino yeah, there. Right? The inner Al Pacino. Okay, I thought uh, I, I love that movie and I thought yeah, that's just, exactly what we should be doing, man. We should be like tearing each other apart to get that final inch, you know what I mean? And we, we talked about it. and So that's it, yeah. So, all right. We are full of artistic motions today. All right, all right. What do we got next? All right, so look, at the end of the day, we play footy as a team and next week we have to front up again so we're going to front up against west coast i think it's at the ecg on the saturday at 3 20. west coast lost to eston after being 29 points up so they're not traveling to our leaver so injuries are overrated too i think seventh versus 13th i don't know why i'm saying that but yes seven what do you reckon well their record at the scg is uh, quite terrible I yep. think I think they're about to have four wins from there um, for their last seventeen games. But so um, they were playing Sydney all those occasions. Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> but still, you know, maybe the venue. Or who, who knows? I mean, it's it's you know. All right. So just quickly, ins and outs. And we've got no players. This, I mean, we don't play like reserves to see any sort of form. Dow and Kennedy and Nunes and O'Brien were apparently pushing for spots, whatever that means. So hey, I saw an article that I saw someone write that we should be putting Kennedy a, as Ruck. Um, Did you see that? <laughs> that's yeah. what is that? okay. I really. No, no, that's, that's their opinion. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, well, they. Richmond did it with Sean Griggs. So, yeah, uh, anyway, so, anyway, anyway yeah, uh, we'll leave that for another okay. day. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, don't, I mean, Casbolt will probably come out because there's probably no spot for him. I mean, they're probably, maybe I'd be playing a guy like Josh Honey, to be honest. Yep, I reckon he deserves yeah. his chance. He's been that emergency we'll, for a while. We'll just play him next time. time. You've got to play, you got to bite the bullet, I think. And yeah. uh, funnily enough, we're actually we're actually favourites with the bookies to win this game. Ah, Would you believe that? Don't know so many. Dollar eighty. How? Uh, well, I, I, I had actually penciled in this West Coast game yeah. from a while out that we would beat them at the MCG under the premise that it was at the MCG. Yeah. But I, I, I think, I think, I think we can beat. I, I genuinely think we can beat them. I don't think they're going well enough. I mean, they did get a couple of injuries. That, so. They are there for the taking, as are we, obviously. Yeah. But they're, they're there for the taking. Well, not good enough. No, I don't think we'll win. Is McGovern playing? No, he's out for ages. Uh, okay. well, oh, McGovern Jeremy McGovern. Oh, Jeremy McGovern. Yeah, yeah, no, he's uh, just going to uh, set But I will say... <laughs> no, I think... Um, talk, but, you know. No, no, I, 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 I know we've had a bake at them and we've had a clip at them, and but I think, right, I, and I could be completely wrong and I'll probably get the banana of the week two weeks in a row. Uh, but I, I, I think when, when the tide completely goes one way and everyone says, we're fucked, everything's fucked, everything's got it, they're just there's always this little thing with this club... There's always, you know what I said? It's just this little glimmer of hope. It's that paper over their cracks. Oh, mate, honestly, oh, we're, we're good enough to beat them. I think we're good enough to beat them. Yes, yes. Everything would have to go right. Yeah, Things would have they, to they, change. They, 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 I, 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 us, mate. I said this in the fan cams. We've all got hope. Yeah. But do we really, we really believe? believe? And I think that's what I'm going through at the moment. So we really believe. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll play Yo back into form. Yeah. Maybe. Oh yeah. look, I'll. I'll, I'll we'll see we go. It's going to be interesting. You got to so, back them in again, mate. We're not going to drop. We're not going to drop off them. We'll, we'll be there. We'll be there watching it. You know. I might go up this week. <laughs> I reckon I'll get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll go with you. You and I can go together. Yeah. Anyway, all right. That's been a good show. Yeah. It's been a heartfelt. And uh, emotional, emotional, emotional like has come out. You know, and we, we all want yeah. the best for it. But anyway, look, thanks, guys. Um, everyone, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Speaking subscribe, of things, like. We go yeah, yeah, no, no, we'll get to that. Get like and share. Show. We're going to do all that. We're going to do all that. And we've got some special thanks. So I'm just going to do some special thanks first. First of all, I want to thank Will Butterworth. Yes. And Melanie Jane Brooks, they both reached out to me. So Mel reached out to me as well. I was excellent, man. Oh, we so love that, games, and we so. love connecting with Hello, everyone. Mel. I also want to thank EK Twenty Nine. 
Yeah, Who is Ike? I love him. I don't I know. But why why do I yourself Ike? Why do I want to thank him? I love him. him. Yeah, you know why? Because he gave us the fucking nickname. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. Terry is yes. our president, day. Yeah. And Paul is the professor. <laughs> Mars is the tank. And I'm the historian. Man, I love that. Nice. Do you feel yeah. old? Yes. <laughs> We feel oh, old too, guys. I can't believe, man. Like, I used to be the like, oh, this is Blake talking about the old day. Now it's me, man. Yeah, anyway. Right. Anyway, and um, also, Manny, or Manny Cas- Cost- Costo. Manny Costo. Manny Costo. Manny Costo, yes. Yeah, he's a Collins supporter. Yes, and he, he reached is. out and said he loves Australia. He's so great. I love he, was he, he was giving it to Terry. He was giving it to Terry. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Love it. And the other one I want to thank is my son, Dylan. Right? Dylan. Hello. The other? The camera at the moment, oh, you yes. want to come in front of the camera? He no, doesn't want to no, come. No, he's shy. But what he shy. does do, he does do the work behind does, the camera, yes. and he also helps the editing. So yes, I want to thank Dylan. Shout out to Dylan. Yep. And you've got a shout out now. I have probably the biggest shout out I'm going to give. Now I met a uh, gentleman who has mistakenly gone by the name of Black Carrot. Yes. Now I can confirm that his alias is not. Black carrot, it is indeed black a rat. Now that is after blackjack and black a rat. Ah, yes. So everyone calling him black carrot, when you see the name pop up on the thing, it's black a rat. And his name is Kyle, and I met him at the game, and And he's a picture of him and I at the game hey. yesterday and he is an absolute legend of a bloke. I'm glad he's real. <laughs> yeah, he is real. He's a top he's bloke. He's reached champion. out to us and he's, yeah. a, and he's always generous and that and, and you met him, you had a beer with him as you can see here with the photo. So, um, hey, good on Fantastic you, to meet him and, and have a chat with love him. Meeting the, love awesome. meeting the fans. So good. So I had good a few him. people I can't remember at the top of my head, but I had a few people inbox me on Instagram and yeah. all that stuff. And Carl Cavara? Oh, oh, Carl. Yeah. Oh, um, Carl. I, I, I haven't oh. felt so, like, heartfelt. Like, yeah, I've looked at the fan cam and I just felt your hurt. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't feel hurt anymore. It's just what I expect. But this but is what I mean. I don't, is... I don't, like... Like, when people say, oh, you know, you can't say this about a player or you, your opinion is wrong or you're... But it's, I don't, I don't like when we have a go at other supporters, yeah. mate. If you've got an opinion and we disagree, it's okay. Yeah, no, it's oh, don't, 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 don't feel the it's need awesome. to start blocking people out of support. Nah. If they've said something sexist or racist or yeah, yeah, horrific, enough. all right. Fair enough. But if it is a genuine critique about football, yeah. if you are not happy to hear that, don't bother. We're I like John Allen. Allen. John Allen gives a little take as well. That's it. Johnny Allen. Oh yeah, he gives it. He gives We're it. all part of one big car. Simple as that. Yeah, no, no. Well, we love everyone. So car was good. Yeah, no, no, that's I mean, it. We've, we've had a few comments that have said, you know, the show with Hansy and stuff was, but, but you respond to them and it's whatever. It's it's what happens. We all. We're all going for the same That's it, exactly. And exactly. you know what? Well, one day we're all going to forget about yeah, this and we're going to be drinking beer. Yes. I might be See, old and grey by then. Or maybe I'll <laughs> actually be drinking the Kool-Aid. Yeah, that's yeah, it. One so. day, I'm telling you, one so, day we will drink that's it. That's it, guys. So thanks for that. Thanks to uh, the Melbourne Coffee Racing, Coffee Coffee Racing Company. Thank thanks for that. Charlton Promo 15 code 15, 15, 15% off. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys. We'll be back next week. And how we finish off? There we go. How we finish off? Yeah, let me hang it. Go lose!